Hey guys, can I just say for a minute that I have tried so many ice creams, not only on this channel, but just in general, and there are still so many vegan ice creams that I have not even tried yet. And dang it, computer. Point is, there are a lot of vegan ice creams out there. Uh, I just read about another one that uh, Arctic Zero brand, it's another low calorie. I don't know if they're high protein or higher protein like Halo Top. I don't think they are. I'm not sure though. Um, but they just announced that they're releasing like nine new uh, non-dairy flavors. You know, not not something I'm looking forward to trying, <laughs> of course, because I'm, I'm not really big on the, the low calorie ice creams. Although that's what we have here. This is the So Delicious 300 calories per pint. What is that what it's called? What is this called? Moose, right. It's their dairy-free moose. So they announced this maybe about a month ago. They just showed some like photos on um, Instagram and then they finally announced that it was like a moose, a low calorie moose. There are a bunch of different flavors. I wanna say six or seven flavors. They had like five, I think, um, at the store that we went to. They were very expensive. Number one, the store that we went to is very expensive anyway. Like I think it's even more expensive than Whole Foods. So I wouldn't be surprised if you can find these cheaper elsewhere if you can find them. But I think we bought them for like $7.49. What? Anyway, they had lemon swirl. They had uh, the strawberry swirl. They had the salted caramel. They had a mango swirl. And they had a peanut butter chocolate, I think. So I got the lemon swirl, the strawberry swirl salted uh, caramel swirl. So first, I've actually already tried these. I tried these when we um, got back from the store because I wanted to kind of do like a two taste thing um, because I find that, I don't know, like with the avocado ice cream, right? If I had just done a taste test right off the bat, I would have been like, no, this is not for me. Um, but like I said, I think in that review, like the lemon really grew on me, man. Mm, like the mint was not for me, but the chocolate was really good. And that lemon, oof, I loved it. So yeah, I did try these. And also I wanted to try kind of different um, texture because when we got them home from the store, it was hot as shit today. Um, they were like, okay, these need to go in the freezer, right? They're starting to get like a little bit melty. So I had them when they were really, really soft. And honestly, they were super good. I know I was kind of shitting on the low calorie ice creams, like Halo Top was not good to me. Um, what else did I try? Oh, I tried that sugar free one. No. Um, these are pretty damn good. The strawberry in particular, it reminds me so much of, I think it was, I'm assuming it's Yoplait or something, but um, some yogurt, when they introduced the whipped yogurt, that was like the first time I ever was excited about yogurt because I hated yogurt as a kid. I've talked about before. Um, I hated just the texture. I hated the pieces of fruit in it. Yeah. So I was super excited about whipped yogurt and I loved it. I remember there was a strawberry one, a key lime one. Um, the strawberry tastes so much like that strawberry flavor to me. Um, the lemon one, also very delicious, just very lemony really good. And the salted caramel one is really good too. It actually tastes like caramel and it's actually pretty salty. These do have sugar alcohol. They have some sugar, but they also have sugar alcohol. So that's one way they're cutting down on the calories. Another way that they're cutting down on the calories is just by making this so airy, right? <laughs> like that's, that's the reality is that this is, cause this is two thirds of a cup. So this has three servings. So two thirds of a cup, um, 66 grams, right? Where if you look at a typical ice cream, two thirds of a cup is going to weigh way more than that, right? So these are like super duper airy. I think that's kind of the, the main way that they are cutting down on calories. So anyway, I want to try these again. As you can see, that's, that's my little bite. Oh my God, it smells so much like that. It reminds me of the Cocoa Whip, honestly. <laughs> a little denser than that, but even the flavor a little bit. This isn't coconut milk, is it? I think it's just, yeah, they just use coconut oil. I honestly love that so much. I love the airy texture. Like, I don't care that I'm actually getting less product because <laughs> like 90% of this is air. And I've really wanted like a good strawberry ice cream for a long time. Again, this is like, is this even ice cream? I don't know. It's it's like a flavored whip. You know what I mean? It's it's more like a whipped yogurt or even just like a like whipped cream almost like a, again, a lighter, like that cocoa whip kind of texture. Very close to that. Okay, so this is the lemon. I definitely like the strawberry better than the lemon. I don't know, I just got like a big piece of the lemon swirl and that was pretty good. Oh, I was saying too about trying it twice. So this this is like 
well, not right out of the freezer because I spent fucking 10 minutes talking, but um, this is a lot colder than how I had it before. But I expect right out of the freezer, unless your freezer is really, really cold, um, this is probably going to be pretty soft right out of the freezer, which is nice. Because some of the vegan ice creams, no, they stay pretty icy. Okay, so this is the, did I say that? This is the salty caramel. Oh, it's also got some chocolate in there too. I will say, I think this application, I think it works better with like a fruitier flavor, like the lemon, the strawberry. I want to say they have a cherry or something. Um, the mango, I didn't get the mango because sometimes mango can just taste like vomit to me. And I'm not really into that. Yeah, I think this works better. Um, kind of like a sorbet you would expect, although chocolate sorbet is apparently the best thing ever. Um, but I think you wouldn't usually expect like a, a fruitier thing. Um, this is still good. It's really good. The flavor is honestly really good. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm sacrificing anything in terms of like the, the sugar, right? I don't feel like, oh yeah, that's not, you know, there's not enough real sugar in this. Again, the texture, I love that moussey texture. So that's really good to me. I just think, I don't know, it's almost a little bit weird with the chocolate and the caramel. It's almost just too heavy for the texture, maybe. So I definitely like the the strawberry and the vanilla and the uh, lemon more. I think the strawberry is probably my favorite, and then the lemon and then the caramel. Would I actually eat a whole pint of these? I mean, no, of course not. <laughs> could I actually eat a whole pint of this? Absolutely, I could, and that is definitely a first. There is no other low calorie ice cream that I've ever tried um, that. I would actually eat like a whole pint of and be like, yeah, not, I mean, again, don't do that. It's kind of silly that, I mean, they're not advertising that really, but some of these other brands kind of are. And it's like, don't, don't do that. Like 300 calories is still a lot of calories, but yeah, I actually could eat a whole pint of this, which is saying a lot. Yeah. So if you have these in your area, I would say definitely try them. If you know you like a moussier texture, if you know what I'm talking about with like the whipped yogurt or even like the cocoa whip, if you know you like that sort of thing, then definitely try these. I think they're really good. I think the flavor is really good. I think they have a really good balance of the sugar alcohols um, and the sugar. I think it's like a really, really good balance. It tastes good. It's got good like depth of flavor. It doesn't just have that like, I don't know, like sugar has a certain taste, right? You learn that really quickly when you start like playing around with sugar alcohols and, um, you know, sucralose and stuff like that. It's like, oh, okay, they're sweet, but the sugar isn't just sweet, right? It has a particular kind of thing, almost depthness kind of that is lacking. And obviously it doesn't have that aftertaste that a lot of the, especially like aspartame and sucralose have, right? Yeah. So I, I think they've done a good job here. I don't feel like I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. I don't feel like I'm sacrificing anything eating these, like really honestly. Yeah. So if you haven't tried them, you should try them. Um, I'm going to try not to eat any more <laughs> because I just did what I ate today. Um, trying to eat healthier. And this is like the last thing that I'm eating. I don't know. I might have another peach actually. Um, Cause otherwise I think I'm just going to eat more of this. So I'll have something else that's sweet, that's a little bit healthier. And yeah, let me know if any of you guys have tried this stuff, what you think about it. If you've tried any of the other flavors, subscribe. That's cool. Support the channel, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. And I'll have a new video very soon.